Hello everyone, Settings in RentSyst is a very necessary section for any company, and in this video, I will tell and most importantly show you one of the most important RentSyst sections, Settings. Let's move on to this section by clicking on the gear. First tab, System and Finance. This section contains simple settings. Let's take a look at them one by one. Type of your transport. It can be a car, a bike, or both. Next is the type of grouping of cars when creating an order. Here you can choose how cars will be visually displayed when creating a new order. It can be grouping by car, specific vehicles with detailed characteristics and photographs will be displayed. If you choose grouping by group of cars, groups to which cars are added will be displayed. When this parameter is activated, the rental price for the group is indicated and all the cars that are in the group will be at the same price. See how to create these groups later in this video. Finally, you can group all the cars by brand when booking a vehicle. A specific brand and model will be displayed. For example, in your fleet there are five pieces of Kia Rio and 10 pieces of Ford Focus. If this display option is selected, during a new reservation, only two cars out of 15 will be displayed. As for the confirmation of the rental car order, either do it manually or let the system do it for you automatically. Type of charging. In this section, you indicate by what criteria you rent a car out. If you rent a car out on an hourly basis, select hour. And if you rent a car out for the whole day, choose day. If you have an hourly and daily car rental, choose both options. Here we write the amount of hours clients can delay the return of the car. There are different return situations. If a client has to hand the car over, for example, at 3 o'clock, but it does not happen, it is assumed that the client can hand the car over two or three hours later. It will be as many hours as you indicate. If you do not use this option, just put zero. Service hours after returning the car. Here you can select the time after which the car will be displayed in the system when the client returns it. This time is allotted to check the operable condition of the car. Next is the currency with which you work and which will be displayed in the system. Decimal mark. You can choose either a period or a comma as you like. The methods here, as you can see, are Visa, MasterCard, or Cash. You can select several options. The last two sliders make it possible to enable, disable the functionality of the system of electronic contracts and invoices use. Next tab, locations and delivery. Here we choose the working location, that is, the place where you work and where you can deliver cars to clients. The first tabs are simple and clear. Select the country or city where your office is located. Then select the time zone in which you work, languages of communication with clients, currently only three languages are available, date format, time format, the day from which the calendar week starts, Monday or Sunday, and the metric system, kilometers or miles. Next is the map where you can clearly identify the working area. That is, within the chosen zone, you'll be able to deliver cars to clients. If your working area is the whole country, you can select the whole country. There is the clear button if it does not work out the first time. Next, you need to add the office address. If the address is not added, an error will appear when creating a new order. Click on Add Location and fill in all the necessary data. Enter the name of the location that will be displayed when creating an order. Then, enter the exact address because in the next paragraph, you will have to indicate the radius from your address within which you can deliver cars. Add the type of communication through which one can contact this office. Then enter the schedule of your office. And the last and most interesting, car delivery. Four points in this section. Let's go through each. Delivery during working hours. Check this box if you rent out cars only during working hours. Delivery in the selected radius. If the delivery of the car in the specified radius is free, just do not check this box. If one has to pay for the delivery, check this box and select a price. It can be a fixed price or a price for kilometers or miles. 
distance calculation will be automatic. Delivery outside the radius. Everything is the same as the previous setting item. If the delivery is free, uncheck the box. If paid, check the box and select a price. Car return only in this location. If you have many addresses throughout the country, putting a tick here, you indicate that the car should return to the address where it was taken. Accordingly, orders will be received only if the car returns to this location. Next tab, Company and Users. Here is the information about the company, its employees, and access rights to the system. The first thing you need to fill out is the data about your company. Click Add Company and fill in the usual fields, such as company logo, company name, the title, this is what will be visible in the Browser tab and in the Rent Syst header. Next, add the website, the physical address of the company, the email of the company. Next are the fields associated with your bank data. Bank name, account number, tax number, SWIFT BIC code, and company registration number. All these data will then be automatically displayed in contracts and accounts. If your business includes several separate companies, each company can be added separately. Thanks to this list, you'll be able to separate orders and conclude contracts, communicate with clients on behalf of any of the represented companies. Next, create groups to which you will add users. In these groups, you can give different access rights to Rensist. For example, for customer service managers, you can provide access to one type of data, only to orders, for example, and for investors or directors, a completely different one. To do this, click Add Group, enter the name of the group, and note below what access rights you want to grant to this group. After creating the groups, you need to create accounts. Click Add User, write the login under which the user will operate, select the group to which you will add them, enter the password, and if there are several cities in the account, select the location to which the employee is attached and add a method of communication with this account. As you can see, the account is created. Then just send the username and the password to the user. To the next tab, Grouping and Maintenance, an important tab that is associated with your fleet. The first thing to do is create groups for cars. For example, you have cars in the park that are classified as family, or maybe there are a couple of business class cars. In the future, you will distribute the cars according to the created group. So, create a group, write its name, and its brief description. The next slider is Maintenance. If you want the system to automatically remind you of upcoming service, turn it on and add the types of service. Write the name of the service, how the service reminder will work, in a certain number of days or after a certain mileage, you choose. Next, choose the icon that suits the name of the service most and the group of cars to which you will attach it. Moving on, the next tab, Seasons and Tariffs. From the name, I think it's clear what we're going to configure here. The first thing that comes across is Seasons. This is a system of discounts, that is, during the specified period, for example, winter, the indicated discount for all cars will be valid. Add the season, enter the name, season period, and discount size. Next is the Tariffs section. This is also a discount system. Adding new tariffs, specify the name of the tariff, the period when it has to be activated. For example, indicate that it is valid for 8 to 20 days. Write the size of the discount and the group of cars that will be included in this rule. What will happen next and how will the system respond to this rule? A client rents a car from a group that is included in this rule, rents it for 10 days, and accordingly, the system will calculate the discount for this order as it is provided in the rule that you indicated. You can also add a mileage limit here. For example, during this rental period, a client can travel a maximum of 50 kilometers. If they travel more, they will pay for each kilometer exceeded. Taxes come next. In this paragraph, it is possible to create a list of relevant tax rates depending on the group of vehicles or locations. 
it is very convenient that when creating a tax rate, you can specify how everything will be calculated. This can be a fixed price or percentage of the reservation amount. You can also indicate that the tax rate can be taken into account in the total amount or added atop. Next tab, Equipment and Insurance. Everything is simple here. Add additional services or equipment that clients can use as well as car insurance. You can add child seats or driver services to the equipment. Click Add Equipment and write the name of the service, price per day, and the amount available. Select the icon and the group of cars to attach it to. Insurance. Everything is simple here. Add the insurance you use. If you have several, you can add several. Click Add Insurance and fill in the fields. Insurance name, insurance price, fixed or percent from the order amount, select a group of cars and a beautiful icon. The last three points are additional insurance features. You can choose a standard type of insurance, default. You can specify an additional security deposit and you can also specify the maximum amount of damage deductible. Moving on, the next tab, Agents and Discounts. If you need to connect external sources for transferring reservations to the CRM system, for example, a personal website, broker, affiliate, or agent, you can create the appropriate type of agent by adding it to the Agents table. To give the agent access to the personal account, tell them agent name and agent password. With their use, they will log in to the system. Among other things, it is important to specify contact information, the method of transferring data and their integration into the CRM system via API, XML, iframe, or manually, as well as the amount of contributions in favor of this agent, if necessary, fixed or percentage. Add a new agent. Write their name, username and password, email, phone number, optional, website, if any. Then choose how you are going to connect to the agent. This can be through an API or a regular XML file, or you can manually log in to their account. Next is the type of payment. It can be percent or cash. In the last field, enter the numerical value. Coupons. If you want to give out coupons at some discount, this is added here. Activate the slider and add the coupon. Select the validity period of the coupon Write the coupon itself from which the user enters the coupon in the corresponding field. Select the type of discount, percent or fixed price, the name of the coupon and the status, active or not. Tab Checks and Control In the first field, if you need a full check, activate the Reservation Checklist slider. What do we see here? We see and select the elements that the manager will have to check before booking before serving the car and before accepting the car itself after client's use. Each of these elements will be displayed when checking the order as a reminder in each item. The next section is VOS checks. It is only available to those who have installed VOS sensors in their cars. Flexible configuration of these sensors is available. Now it is possible to control the speed of the car, engine temperature, as well as aggressive driving. Aggressive driving style is calculated on the basis of three components, acceleration, braking, and sharp turns. The higher the mark on the scale, the more sensitive the sensor, and many other parameters. For more details, see our lesson about VOS sensors. The last tab, Notifications and Templates. The first section is Notifications. Choose which notifications you want to receive and choose how to do it. These can be reminders in the RentSyst system itself or emails. Both options can be marked at once. The last section is the templates. Here you can download and edit your agreement templates, agreement confirmation text, your signature which will be used in all electronic documents, and a confirmation letter. In all these points, you can download the templates that you yourself use. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. We hope the video was really useful.